Hi guys, this is Zoro, same spot again, it's almost raining, I, if you guys have seen the previous video, I managed to go over the waterfall and came down there, almost, uh, uh, we, we are almost in the park, which is over there, where is my car, but uh, this video is about TRC knives, yes. And um, we will talk about, and I guys want you to see, all my TRC knives. So, um, I know that uh, TRC have done uh, some model, um, not too many, but uh, there are uh, a few, few models which uh, I would like very much to, put, to, to have, but... Um, um, first of all, uh, the size is similar uh, with these two here that I have already have. And the second one, the TRC knives are very expensive, so you will have to keep that in mind. These are uh, good quality knives. Um, uh, these are done by a company which was started by... Uh, Andrius Tricius in Lithuania, Europe, and um, these knives here are uh, very, very well made. Um, these are semi custom or semi industrial. I don't know if, where is uh, what is uh, the exact word in English. Um, these were made. Uh, for most of the part by machine and then um, the knife uh, are assembled and um, re refinished and um, uh, and they are sharpened by hand by a few guys that work at uh, TRC but I believe that in the beginning um, when I purchased this one which was my first back in 2012 almost seven years ago uh, uh, Andrius Tricius was done almost uh, all by himself. Um, that was the second one uh, that I bought from a friend on uh, on internet. This is uh, the Bushcraft. This is the K1, which is the most selling uh, and the most um, old model from TRC. That is the Apocalypse. Uh, I will, uh, guys, want you to see the the sheath. This is a Kydex sheath with... Uh, I love this belt loop which is the same used in the car. Very strong but also very comfortable to have uh, on the belt loop. Same uh, style over there. Kydex with uh, uh, the car uh, belt, uh, safety belt over there. And this is um, a model which comes with um, a very nice um, leather sheath with a dangler over here. So, nice. So, let's see. Let's check out this knife over here. So, um, from the newest model, I would like to purchase the Persian. I love also the Freedom. I love uh, almost all of his models. I loved very much the T TR-13, which is similar to this one. I love... Uh, well, I believe that uh, maybe my next purchase will be the Freedom don't know guys because it's actually quite expensive but um, I would love also to buy a new version of the Apocalypse with um, Elmax which is bigger and um, it's more thick on the spine so these two over here are in um, Elmax uh, 59 to 60 Rockwell 
60 to 61 Rockwell. So these two over here have a different um, heat treatment. And this one is M390. Focus. Yeah. Focus. Sorry, guys. My phone is tired today. Yeah. M390. And um, this is actually Elmax. Focus. And this is actually also Elmax. The spine is all rounded over there. K1. I don't have the, the screw to to open the handle, but I believe it's possible. Uh, the other two are not uh, possible to to open, to take down the scales, because uh, this is not removable. This is the bushcraft. Nice. This is not rounded, so you can strike the ferro rod with the spine of the knife. Very, very beautiful. This, this whole tree was actually used uh, quite a lot, and uh, I have already sharpened it and it's almost impossible to see some scratches uh, those are, are very tough still use i believe that m319 and lmax are the better uh, inox steel over there in the market that is the apocalypse you have already seen this one this is the middle version with the newest tip but uh, this doesn't come with the um, finger grips over there the new version have finger grips over there and over there it's more thick on the spine and uh, instead of M390 uh, that was done in um, LMAX and it's more heavy than this one uh, this is all well done it's some very beautiful night it's, this one has some minor scratches over there but it's almost impossible to see on the camera on the phone camera yeah those those knife are very very nice so i wanted you to see one of my favorite uh, brand um, talking about uh, inox you know guys, I love also very much Bark River, I love also very much Folkniven. Uh, we will have uh, a video in the future about Folkniven um, with two models of Folkniven in use. And um, I love also very much Busy, Busy Knife. And uh, you know, all the, the other brands that I love because you can see some video on my channel i haven't done a video for all my knife and uh, i have some knife in the past which i would have loved to to have a video to to show to you guys but uh, it is what it is and um, i can only show what uh, i have right now and what i am using right now so i believe that i will have to hurry because uh, it's it start raining so that's all for today guys um, let me let me know in the comment which one is your favorite about this three knife um, this is almost a four inch blade and this one is bigger it's a seven uh, seven and a half inch blade so the destination of use is different uh, but let me know which one of the three of this uh, three uh, knives over here you will um, you will uh, choose you will choose and uh, which is your favorite trc knife so bye guys